let me thank the distinguished members of the media for being at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs this afternoon to be part of the uh, briefing in connection with Sri Lanka's admission as a dialogue partner of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. This I consider as an important achievement in terms of Sri Lanka's wide international engagement and multilateral focus. I will now give you an account of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. The ninth meeting of the Heads of State Council of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, SCO, met in Yekaterinburg, Russia, on 15th and 16th June and decided to grant dialogue partner status to Sri Lanka. The Shanghai Cooperation Organization, which is known as SCO, is a permanent intergovernmental organization established in 2001 in, in Shanghai, comprising six countries, China, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Russia, Tajikistan, and Uzbekistan. The main goals of Shanghai cooperation are strengthening mutual confidence, and good neighborly relations among the member countries, promoting effective cooperation in politics, trade and economy, science and technology, culture as well as education, energy, transportation, tourism, environmental protection, and other fields, making joint efforts to maintain and ensure peace, security, and stability in the region, moving towards the establishment of a new, democratic, just and rational political and economic international order. Recognizing and subscribing to the main goals, principles and actions of the SCO, Sri Lanka expresses its desire to become a dialogue partner. Thus, at the 8th SCO summit held in Dushanbe, Tajikistan, in August 2008, I, as the foreign minister, wrote to my counterparts in the six member countries seeking their support to become the dialogue partner of the organization. In this context, we receive the support of all member states. In particular, I wish to place on my record, on record my sincere gratitude to the foreign ministers of China and Russia, whose invaluable advice and guidance was extremely helpful in securing this dialogue partnership status for Sri Lanka. In the light of the successful eradication of the menace of terrorism from the country, Sri Lanka's membership in this forum as a dialogue partner would enable it to share its experience of countering terrorism with the membership. In para 14 of the final declaration of the head of state of SEO concluded yesterday, the member states welcome the end of the internal military conflict in Sri Lanka and express their hope for establishing a firm peace, strengthening security and stability in Sri Lanka on the basis of ensuring its state sovereignty and territorial integrity, guaranteeing the rights of all ethnic and religious groups. The admission of Sri Lanka as a dialogue partner of the Chennai Cooperation Organization is yet another significant victory for the proactive and dynamic foreign policy pursued 
by the Mahindra Rajapaksa government. Any questions that I could respond to? moment it is heading to the Somalian waters uh, being controlled by the pirates. It's, a, it's captained by a New Zealand captain and the ship is again owned by the New Zealand, government, uh, New Zealand company and all efforts made by Sri Lanka through our missions in uh, Nairobi and in Canberra connecting these two ends. The owners of the ship as much as the uh, Somalia is covered from Nairobi. We are trying to take every possible step for the early release of the ones who have been captured. There are about seven numbers of Sri Lankans. There are two New Zealanders and there are some uh, Filipinos on board so that we are taking every possible step in order to have an early release of the ones who have been captured. I have sought the arrest of KP, K. Padmanath, and he is a fugitive he is wanted in the red list of the Interpol and we are taking every possible step to seek his arrest. I have carried personally the arrest warrants for KP and handed them over to my counterparts in several countries. And I expect an early arrest of KP and he being delivered to Sri Lanka to stand trial within the judicial system in our country. And any imagination uh, may lead to hallucinations on KP and his people. Regions are not defined purely in terms of geographical distances. There are some, uh, certain common pursuits that we follow within a regional configuration. And China cooperation is very much in Asia. And Asia covers from East Asia end to West Asia. And that is how China, Russia, and some other countries in West Asia has become very key partners in Chennai cooperation. The intra-regional development is equally important as much as inter-regional pursuits in the world. In that context, today Chennai cooperation, it is Chennai cooperation organization that represents one third of the world's population. And that has a very significant participation of important countries both as direct members, some as observers, and others as dialogue partners. And it's an important element for our inter-regional inter development within Asia to become a partner of Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Because we also have our economic goals, the political needs, and also recognition in terms of being players in the region. And today, Sri Lanka, I'm happy to announce that has got in during the last two and a half years to become major players in the ARF, ASEAN Regional Forum, and also which comprises 27 countries in Asia-Pacific uh, linkage. Then we are also a lead member of the ACD, which will be hosting this year as the chair of the Asian Cooperation Dialogue. And thereby, Sri Lanka has now got elevated into become a regional player as much as in the global scene as an important member of the global community. We have said uh, enough and more on that, I thought. Already uh, that's a matter of yesterday. And uh, we have taken our position, uh, which uh, came out from the, uh, from the papers that carried out the reasons. And every country had the prerogative of permitting and rejecting uh, persons entering a country. All countries practice this. Some be very, with very stringent rules and regulations. That's why you see a lot of countries take a long time to process a visa. And in Sri Lanka, sometimes we have become liberal, but at times when it comes to importance of Sri Lanka's interest, we had to look at it differently. And this was one such instance where we looked at it differently in keeping with Sri Lanka's interest. Any other matters? Thank you all round and 